the Friday the 13th films are known for horror icon Jason Voorhees. From misshapen boy to space monster, let's go through his progression. Jason first appears in part one as a bald, deformed child who drowned at Camp Crystal Lake. His mother later avenges his death, only to be killed herself. In part two, Jason is alive somehow and seeking revenge for his mother. He's full grown and wears a plaid shirt, overalls, and a one-eyed sack. Unmasked, his head appears lumpy with patchy long hair. Jason is bulkier in part three and acquires his iconic hockey mask and trades the overalls for blue pants and a green dress shirt. He also ditches his hair for a shaven look and oddly shares little resemblance to himself in part two. In the final chapter, Jason's clothes noticeably have more wear and tear, and his face looks much more deformed. He's sliced to death by his own machete and presumed dead. Jason in the new beginning is revealed to be a copycat killer, so let's move on. In part six, Jason lives. Jason is brought back to life when lightning hits his corpse. While zombified, he dons the same attire, but with additional gloves. In the climax, he is chained to the bottom of Crystal Lake. In part seven, The New Blood, Jason is let loose by a girl with psychic powers and now sports a chain around his neck and clothing that is even more tattered, revealing bone underneath. His mask is broken and reveals an extremely rotted face. But once again, to stop his rampage, he's sent to the bottom of the lake. Part eight, Jason takes Manhattan, has Jason awoken by electric shock and finds a new mask. He now seems perpetually wet. He hops a boat to New York and once there is melted away by toxic sludge. But don't worry, and Jason goes to hell the final Friday, Jason is alive! Again! His mask is now embedded to his face with wisps of hair falling out. Within the first 10 minutes, he's blown up and presumed dead. But the film carries on as his ghost possesses other people. He eventually resurrects himself, but is soon stabbed by a magic dagger and dragged into hell. Jason is risen by Freddy Krueger for their crossover, Freddy vs. Jason. His mask is no longer embedded, his skin appears leathery, and he's gained light. He's also sporting a new brown coat. Jason X shows Jason back to his normal height and flesh-colored skin, and his face here is lumpy. He's cryogenically frozen and let loose on a spaceship, and later rebuilt with nanotechnology, which gives him a shiny new mask and bodysuit. With nowhere left to go, the Jason series was rebooted with a more classic look in 2009, leaving Uber Jason in space.